Hey guys, this is RD Techie with another episode of Indecent Exposure today, and the game I have for you is Auto Age Standoff. Right, so today is really special because for the first time on my channel, I have a developer joining me, the uh, main man, the main guy over at uh, Phantom Compass is joining me, Professor Complicated. So welcome Hello. to my channel. Yes. And Thanks for having <laughs> me. Uh, so one thing I have to ask, and I, I was dying to ask, I was waiting for this uh, video to start so I could ask you, did you write or create that song, the, uh, the theme song? <laughs> and if so, can we get it on iTunes? Because it is really, it is the most, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely heavily 80s cartoon inspired. I, yeah, I mean, um, I directed the game, so I did, um, you know, help to guide the composer um, for this track, but it's basically all him. It's a guy, Matthew Reed, uh, who's based here in Toronto, and he was a composer with uh, Second City, which is a inner... Um, uh, improv group uh, up here in Toronto and Chicago um, and he did a great job on the song it, and we had some it is guest vocalists and musicians yeah <laughs> it yeah. is absolutely amazing I'll leave the link to the song if you have a video of just the song I'll leave the link in the description yeah, I'll try to make it, is, happen, it yeah. is really awesome and you should put that out on iTunes because I like already I just want that song just playing cool I'll, I'll let him know he's got really yeah. good feedback on it so far yeah, and I think, it, uh, it felt like I was watching an episode Episode of Knight Rider or you know yeah. um, Ninja yeah. Robots if that was this thing you guys watched over there. <laughs> it was, no, it sounds awesome though. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's like Transformers but different. Anyways, cool. um, so we're gonna jump into the game. We have some bots, the evil Dark Jaw army, and we're on the same yeah. team because you never play against the developer. You never do that. <laughs> so now we'll go to the uh, vehicle picker screen. Right. And you can just choose whichever vehicle uh, you like. I did try this a little bit, and I like the M M type, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, uh, great. So the game it? will, uh, yeah, you can just pick one of the little vehicle cards that's on the side there and spawn in whenever you like. Yep, I'm in. Okay, so we are pushing to one side of the map, and we're gonna try to take down Dark Jaws blue vehicles, any blue vehicles or red pips that you see. Those are ones that you want to shoot at. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh. And I see where you are. I'll try to stick by you. <laughs> oh, I see you. I see you. There we go. Oh. That's a bad guy's coming. Oh, yeah. Die! Destroy! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> so with the heavy vehicles... Oh, there it is. Oh, out. yes. You want to stay out of the business end, which is the front yeah, end the of the front, vehicle. Those heavies will really oh, ram you hard. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> this so we've got is... another developer online right now, Scooter Squirrel, and uh, she's yeah. putting her driving skills to the test right now. Okay. <laughs> Are they able to join, like, on the go? Is that possible, or do we... Yeah, you can join a game in progress. Um, oh, that's, that's awesome. Probably oh. what she did. Yeah. Oh. We might have one or two of the other devs going next as well. Awesome. I'll uh, keep an eye out. Uh, so so crazy. if you hit tab, you'll see who's. who's oh, who I died. Hannah bot <laughs> killed me. I'm not last. That's that's a good good thing. That's good in my book. Okay, so. Yes. Yeah, stick with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. What was the uh, middle mouse? Oh, oh, that's a turret. Okay. Yeah, each vehicle has different kinds of equipment, and some of the equipment. Yeah, I. Deploy. When I was playing single player, I figured out you could repair yourself, and I forgot to do it now. It's... <laughs> the moment. Yeah, it depends true. on the vehicle. There's pickups for sure, so you can grab those, and then some vehicles oh, actually no. have a self. Self. <laughs> Tony vehicle. bot hit me away like, oh, teammate. <laughs> No. <laughs> I love the whole cell shaded visuals. It's like yeah, thanks. Cool. It's uh, 
definitely heavily inspired by all those great cartoons from yeah, and the then 80s like and the, early 90s. The first thing I thought of when I booted this up and I was trying uh, the tutorial a bit was like, it, oh no, Hannah killed me again. Hannah has has it in for me. She's got a grudge. She's got a grudge. She's got a grudge. Uh, like the thing that popped into mind was Carmageddon. You know that that oh yeah that coupled with Rocket League with more violence. <laughs> it's what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. Um, a bunch of people on the team we played Carmageddon uh, a fair oh, bit no. in the 90s. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. It's a great classic car combat oh, yeah, title. Definitely. Yes. And, uh, we definitely put oh. a lot of mechanics from Rocket League in here because we figure people really know that game. Oh no, slammed into the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I saw you jump and I was trying to copy that. Did not work yeah. out because I didn't boost. Oh, now it's working. Oh, I'm in the air now. Oh, I see you. No, there you go. There's a health pickup around there for you just to lose. If you can get there. Oh, you got guys on your tail. Yeah, not good. Need to switch health. Yeah, heal it. Yeah, oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, man. So you find it's kind of a dogfighting style combat. It is. It, it really is. And I, yeah. is, was that intentional? That it wasn't yeah. um, like a directional based gun. Like it was a directional based gun. You couldn't move it, and you know, like there was no crosshairs involved and things like that. Was that intentional? Yeah. Yeah. We wanted to make it more of like, uh, oh. I guess, World War II air combat is sort of the yeah, inspiration yeah, yeah. for the combat. Yeah. Proper. Dog and there fight. are aim assists, so you can get. A little bit. You don't have to be perfect in your aim. Like the vehicle will help you aim a little bit. And we also have um, turret-mounted guns, so your vehicle will be able to shoot any target automatically for a short time, uh, depending on if you take that equipment. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! D I took revenge. Fuck. I got yeah. him. You got him. Uh, he was so close to dang. It was just super close. Oh. Oh, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm away from the fight and I'm slamming against the wall. That's not good. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Get, 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 get. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, is, is he dead? Or is that just... Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I killed D3 Damn it. That was the guy who killed you before. Yeah. So, heavies have more health, but the rate they fall, the health falls, it's the same. It's not like they take long, more hits to lose the same one cube of health, it's just they have more cubes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're more um, sturdy, uh -oh. but they also don't have the agility that the light uh -oh, I'm upside do. down. Yeah. <laughs> if you jump, you can use your uh, directional controls to flip over. Uh, uh, yeah, air controls. Ah. God damn it, Adam bot. At least it wasn't Hannah this time. So are these we names the of uh, developers, yeah, developers or friends? Yeah, developers and testers. Yeah. Right. So it's like immortalized. And some of our kids too. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, wrong button. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of controls in this game, but thankfully it's pretty easy to pick up. It is, play. it is. It's 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 one of those games that's easy to pick up but hard to master sort of deal. Mm -hmm. you know, like... Yeah, we ah. see players who uh, are a little more experienced doing some really amazing stuff with air controls and actually have found some exploits we need to fix in an upcoming release where oh. it's uh, they can be a little trickier with flying around, so I mean, we, you oh, know, you, once yeah. the game gets played, then you see what all the glitches and stuff are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Getting shot. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Hannibal. Again. She is, she's, she hates me. She's after you, man. I you don't know. even have a It's like, there must be. There's some grudge there. Learning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, A the AI uprising starts yeah, now. This is where it starts. Uh, okay, so. All right, I see some. Oh, ah, I see Hannibal. I'm going after. Her. I'm going. Ah, ah, ah. Die! Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, she's dead. I didn't get the kill, but she's dead. Oh. 
Someone else yeah, is dead. Oh, Dale is dead now. Yeah. We have a good pretty I am good now last. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh. oh, I probably shouldn't have checked the score. Let people just think I'm not doing so bad. <laughs> hey, what our team is winning, though, so at least we have Yeah, that. that's what matters, yeah. Oh, into the- oh! Oh, shot something! <laughs> oh no! Game over! Alright, so that was a short- yeah, that was a short round. But, yeah, uh, we that's, won! That was close! Match. Yeah, yeah, that was close. So there's got... one dev on the other side. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Sc Scudder Squirrel, okay, alright. So yeah, that's good. I'll okay. do, um... A point capture game, so this is similar to other games that have this kind of mode. Basically, you have to capture and then control a point in the middle of the map. And um, respawn time in this is a little longer than okay. usual. All right. Uh, so basically, like, you don't want to die. You want to try to save your health while you're inside the capture zone. All right. And, That's um, good. yeah, there's a sudden death in it as well, and it becomes uh, this big mayhem in the middle. In all so other we'll words, open. I am probably going to be staring at the respawn screen more than I am playing in this mode. But let's do this. <laughs> well, take it heavy, so you've got lots of health. Yeah, and actually, that's because what we're playing do. with bots, yeah, because we're playing with bots, it's going to be a little easier because they're not that smart for point capture. They're smart enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you don't pay attention, they will win. But basically, you can um, kind of entice them out of the capture zone if right. you're tricky. So, so if you hang back, yeah. go ahead. What is the difference between the green and the white? So there's edge type and then oh, there's... Yeah, they're, they're just um, different factions within the same team. So okay. they're just different styles of vehicles. Um, right. There are slight uh, differences in driving, but nothing that is immediately noticeable. It's more okay. for experienced players. They might prefer a certain type over That's another one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and module oh. mounts are like... That's the equipment that each vehicle has, and oh, um, okay. when you customize your vehicles, uh, each piece of equipment has a different cost to it, and there's also oh, these okay. free slots where you can stick different types of free equipment in, like targeting computers or extra health or armor. That's good. Okay, um, so I'm going to jump in with this one. I'm in a heavy now. I'm a green heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh. I took a, a tower type, so I've got this big giant vehicle. So is this the kind of game where you're constantly changing how you play, or is it like more where you select a team and then you kind of go with that and, oh, like your team is fixed in those roles where like one guy plays heavy all the time or you just constantly change. I think oh. you can play that way if, if you have a team where you have pre-assigned goals, you can definitely play that way, but also like I change my vehicle type depending on what's happening on the point. Uh, so yeah, if we have good. the point, I might come in as a tower and hold and defend. Oh, there you so go. now we have the point captured, and if we hold it, our percentage will climb up to 100. Oh, I get, I get what you mean, yeah. I'm trying to hold it. I see they have a tower on their side right now, too. Yep, yeah, got go. him. Nice. So what does the tower do? Is it like a really powerful sort of... Um, yeah, like very slow. Super very, tank very sort of thing? Yeah. Yeah. And it has, uh, we're, right now it has only one top mounted weapon, which is like a very powerful but slow firing missile. And then you can slot extra equipment in so it can drop oh, a human. Oh, no, I got killed. I was gonna ask where do I get some health, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's pickups around the map, but also your team members can heal you if they equipped their vehicles with a healing module. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so respawning. Coming in with a... If you have an organized team, it's really hard to get beat on this uh, mode because uh, yeah. it's just designed for human players, really. So we're already we already have an edge because uh, Scooter just... Squirrel on the other side is, is bots. <laughs> but then again, you got me, so you know, never say never. Oh, oh. Well, it's, hey, hey, you're holding your own. You're holding your own. I see. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop a healing uh, bubble, and now I'm trying oh, to... Oh, that's good. Healing. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. So as long as you stay within that pink zone... <laughs> There's a bot good. under you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, no. Move what? <laughs> what is this? Oh, there you go. So the way that the enemy would, would get regain control here is if they eliminate the entire team off this point. So it's challenging to get it back. Oh, right, right, right. That's where if there was other humans, they'd have to be organized about how to assault. Yeah, there would be more strategy team. involved and things like that. Yeah. We're also working on a new mode right now, which is uh, basically like Shine Thief from Mario Kart. Okay. So you have a token that your vehicle has. Uh, oh no, I was about collect. to get in the bubble. Oh right, okay. <laughs> and then people can kill you and take the token and then they gain points oh, while they're taking stuff the like token. That. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And probably after that we'll do capture the flag. Oh yeah, I can see I can see CTF being a lot of fun in this game. Yeah. Oh, so we've done a few the... updates since launch. This is okay. version 1.1 that we're playing here. Oh, yeah, and uh, this came out very recently, didn't it? Or... Yeah, it came out September 21st, yep. and uh, we've done three updates already, and the next one is coming in the next two to three weeks. That'll be another content update, so there should be uh, a bunch of new vehicles and a new mode, and probably a new map or two as well. We're just uh, continuing to update this to add more value. Jump and run! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got another heal up if we need any. Oh, this, this bubble's nice. I like the bubble. <laughs> so if you can imagine, if everybody on this team took a oh, power, would you like to feel yeah. how hard that would be to, to get to out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have like four... Three towers and like everyone, the other ones are like minis or something. You could pretty much hold this place once you get it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, D North. Uh, there you go. So you probably already figured this out, but the blue areas that are glowing, those are not good. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to land in those. Yeah, I the first time I played, I went straight for them, thought it was like a power up pickup or something. And I was like, nope, not a good idea. So I everything in this world good. is powered by energy, which is that blue stuff. But in okay. the story of the world they refine it and turn it into Refined energy. That's okay, so it's cool. like uh, Iridium and Borderlands. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's cool. That's nice. I think we're doing a very good job defending this point right now. Yeah, it seems like we're we're doing all right here. Oh. Okay, so now oh, oh we won. We won. Oh, Victory. Oh, but... And I wasn't last. Even more yeah. victory! <laughs> MVP! <Hey>. Nice. <laughs> Alright, oh, so I'll right. do a straight up deathmatch right now. That'll be the next one I host. And right. uh, let me see. I'll do it on a smaller map. So we have different sizes um, depending on how many players. This one I'll put six players in. That'll, that's good, yeah. And this will just be uh, everyone versus everyone. Oh, it's the like a, a free for all through. thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right, Those are the right. modes we have right now, which is okay. free for all deathmatch, team deathmatch, and point capture. And then uh, in another Perfect. couple weeks, That'll, we'll have. That, yep. Yeah. And you're gonna get the. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so that this will like end the episode out in a very <laughs> disheartening <laughs> loss because there's no way <laughs> you can get carried and then free for all. But I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, try. give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. I love this loading screen just because of that sound. The loading. Right? Yeah. yeah it reminds you it reminds me a long of time a ago. lot of yeah. yes. <laughs> dial up. <laughs> oh man. I, I I'm sure there's a lot of people now who if they're watching they'll go, like, What's a dial up? <laughs> yeah. We have people saying, uh, what's that fax machine noise? I'm like Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, that's Oh my god, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Oh, there's oh there's the blue guys this time also. Okay. Yeah, because right. it's free for all, so you can pick free any vehicle. 
Which, how do you know which one have uh, the, the healing, the right click for healing thing? If you um, look at the modules for each vehicle, uh, you should be able to see whether one has oh, a healing yeah, yeah. module or not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. You can click on the modules to get more information, the stats and stuff of each piece of equipment. Oh. Crap. <laughs> Game starts and I'm going up a wall. <laughs> You go. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, no. I killed you, too. Oh, that was. That was. Double kill, sort of. <laughs> I see someone's going at this tower. <laughs> yeah, get the tower, get the tower. I always get out one the tower. Someone bring one in. Uh, forget about everyone else. Do you have um, in-game voice chat, or is that something that's planned? No, we're not going to do in-game voice chat because there's so many good systems out there like this one that do the job better. So it's very true. the first thing, to be honest, that I disable in any. Uh, game I play is in game voice chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking at options oh, as well no. to ex expand our in game text chat, so we might do a lobby chat or something in the uh, future. Yep. Yeah. Where is this? Oh, oh. Oh, oh I killed bad. someone! <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, tower! <laughs> yeah, you're next. Uh oh, shit! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not yet, no! <laughs> Gotta run! <laughs> Play it! <laughs> oh, there it is, okay. Oh! Yeah, health! Did not get me as much health as I thought. Yeah, we turned them down a little bit. They were a bit too overpowered OP, before. Yeah. We got really good feedback from the players who are playing, so yeah, it's nice I mean, to they, they pop up often enough, so you can afford to. Yeah. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh! No. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Pick the fight with the big guy who's got full health. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, those heavies really hurt when they hit you. <laughs> yeah. I killed Squirrel. Uh Yay! You killed the developer. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you beat them at their own game. I know! It's, it's one of those once in a lifetime moments. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. feel like a good balance for me. Like, you get the health yeah. perk thing. Yeah, they do a good amount of ram damage. They've got nice loadout options. Yeah. And it's, and it's fast enough. It's not too slow. It's a good balance. Uh-oh. Leg it! Leg it! <laughs> oh, no! Oh no, trapped. There you go. Health. I like health. <laughs> <laughs> health is good. Woo. I think I was close. I don't think they got me. 
we made some balance changes in uh, version 1.1, and I can see now the bots are in the top of the scoreboard, so I think they're. Uh, <laughs> well, this doing a one's good job. just chilling here, so I can just <laughs> sit behind and take it out. But I think I I overheated my gun, so it's not actually working anymore. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> It'll come back. It's so weird because I see the pink and I'm going, oh sweet pickup, and then there's a guy spawning in. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, sh damn it. Someone killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's only six seconds left. It's gonna be close. Let me beat the bots. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be oh, well, well, I was last. I knew it. <laughs> well, to be honest, the bots won, so that, that feels. This, this yeah, is the, the point, beginning of the point spread's not too bad. <laughs> beginning of the end right there. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's gonna be it for this episode of Indecent Exposure. Thank you, Professor Complicated, for joining me. And thanks to the entire team at Phantom Compass. Auto Age looks amazing and so much fun to play. And thank you for giving me a chance to cover this game. Get that song and put it on YouTube or like put it on iTunes so I can buy it. <laughs> yeah, great. Thanks, man. Thank you for joining, and uh, as for you guys, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more content so I can keep giving you more indie support. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.